Yeah. Some people oh, roll yeah. the wave perfectly. For sure. That's case to case. 90% of people ain't going to. Yeah. You can it, catch on. Exceptions to the rule don't yeah. change the rule. For sure. For sure. So, for sure. It's compound cool. interest type of game. It, it builds. Yeah, it it's builds. not like when I listen to this, the um, Bigger Pockets podcast, podcast, none of them are saying in a year I made $5 million. Especially nah. the people that just work the day to day job. Yeah, They're like, so I refinanced my house. Yeah. And it was a big risk. Yeah. But I got this other house and I started making extra three hundred a month. Yeah, for sure. Then they go sure. from there. It, and, it wasn't and, and there's some diversity somewhere. It, like yeah. it ain't just one thing that just blew, you know, they, they spread their money in different places. So Yeah, I get you. Do you think people that get scammed deserve to get scammed? Yeah. Okay, cool. It's no learning lesson. If I you, mean, yeah, you made it. You made that choice. You made that choice. Like I feel like you should eat that. Like no matter how much you pay, you should eat that. Now you know how it feels to get scammed. You know how it feels not to have a certain type of knowledge. When you got somebody else doing certain shit for you, and you're not knowledgeable about that thing, I mean, Cause, bro, there was a whole documentary on it. Like this dude named Coffeezilla that he exposed Logan for it. He interviewed a lot of the people that gave money. One dude gave him four hundred thousand dollars in crypto money. Jesus. And just hoping he can get, get, get a whole time. bunch of get a whole bunch of you know NFTs or resell them. Yeah. Why? Like you have four hundred grand and you yeah. worried about NFTs? NFTs? You got some money to do some things. You just but when you're not knowledgeable about the shit that you're getting into, that's what happens. I just feel like people should have big hands in the game, especially investment. I think you should. I want to get to the point where I know what the fuck I'm talking about. When I can go to a, um, an account and I at least have some type of knowledge of what the fuck is. It's happening on record. I don't feel yeah. like I should just give my money to somebody and they, boom, just yeah. make something happen. I feel like you should have some type of knowledge. Base knowledge. Just base knowledge, man. I want that knowledge, but about taxes. Ta yeah. There, there's yeah. so many loopholes. I, I don't know if I've seen this video. It was a dude breaking down how, I already know how rich people avoid taxes, but he broke it down to another. He, I, I never watched such an informational video in my life. Yeah. It was, it was basically talking about how like it's a special loan that you could put on stocks, but you have to have a certain amount of money to even get this loan. Okay. And when you get that loan, you just keep, what is it? Are you making money off the difference? You're writing off the money you're making off of stocks in your portfolio yeah. as um, a tax break because of that loan. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. And he coming out scot-free basically? Yeah, so. Okay. Damn. But yeah, I'm gonna whoop this nigga's ass in basketball. You gonna be so disappointed. <laughs> you gonna hoop it? I can't hoop. Why? Because John Nicka gotta work, man. <sighs> yeah, John Nicka gotta work. Hell yeah. yeah. Trust me, I was hungry. Yeah. I was hungry. I was hungry. I haven't played basketball in a while since you I talked to you. Can't win one? Huh? Can't win one? What time is it? it? We've been talking for three hours. It's a one. We gotta go now. Uh, yeah, we gotta go now. Alright. Let me show you Kyrie's book.